Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has made it clear that he wants to move away from signing just superstar names for Manchester United. And his first signing of the summer could well take United fans by surprise. Reports suggest that Man United are close to agreeing a £15 million deal for Swansea City midfielder Daniel James. Now, who is Daniel James? What sort of player is he? What we're going to do in this video is cover the full story of the James to Manchester United transfer, look at where the stories came from and offer you a bit more insight into exactly what type of footballer Daniel James is. Now before we get started, if you are new to United People's TV, we do loads of these videos, make sure you subscribe down there, drop a like on the video as well if you're a regular and let's get straight into it. Now where are these reports coming from? It's Sky Sports who are pushing this main story about James to Manchester United. Now the 21 year old Welsh international was linked with United last week by the Daily Mail, but it's Sky Sports who are really pushing it now saying that a deal is close to being agreed. But is a deal agreed? Absolutely not. Uh, you've got the BBC Simon Stone saying that while United do have interest, no deal is in place just yet. And that sentiment is shared by lots of other respected reporters. So no deal for James is completed just yet. But what is clear is United are in the market for him. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer himself was asked about the Daniel James rumours in his Cardiff pre-match press conference. And as you'd expect from Solskjaer this summer, he kept his cards close to his chest, saying that he didn't want to comment on players in other teams, didn't think it was respectful. And I expect to see that from Solskjaer all summer long. Too often we've seen far too many leaks about the exact players that United are going for, but maybe this Daniel James one will catch everybody by surprise. And Solskjaer did say maybe there will be some signings that you haven't reported when he was talking to the press. Now, what should we make of this? First thing, it will be a major shift in United's transfer strategy away from your Gareth Bales, your Cesc Fabregas, your Paul Pogba's, Ibrahimovic, Mkhitaryan, away from the big superstar signings that we've typically made, and more towards signing a young player who's exciting and a real prospect. And some United fans might turn their nose up at that, but you've only got to look at, say, Andy Robertson at Liverpool or James Madison at Leicester for signings from the Championship that have gone on to be fantastic signings for their clubs. It's not all about superstar names. And I, for one, am excited at the idea that Man United will be moving away from that strategy which Ed Woodward made United's transfer policy for the last six years. And if there's one thing that really excites me about the idea of Man United genuinely being in for Daniel James, it's the fact that I know Ed Woodward would have absolutely nothing to do with it. He doesn't even watch a championship, let alone try and sign a 21-year-old Welsh winger who plays for Swansea. It's, it shows me that maybe United's scouting department is actually scouting because our scouts should be unearthing these gems, should be getting players in who have shown real prospects, might not be a household name yet, but can become a household name at Man United. Now, I'm not saying that Daniel James would be, and maybe he wouldn't be, but it's certainly less of a risk than spending 50, 60, 70 million on an established player that goes on to then flop at United because let's be honest, United's recent history or history overall of signing established top draw players and them going on to shine at United is a bad hit ratio. It really, really is. We've had so many superstars that have just not shone and Alexis Sanchez is the clearest and most recent example of that. But if United really are in the market for Daniel James, Ed Woodward would have fuck all to do with it and that alone is a reason to get excited about that because that would be a major shift for United that we've been asking for, that we've been calling for as fans, for Ed Woodward to move away from the transfers and for United to take more control of it. And it would be the sort of signing I would expect from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. As I said, someone who's young, a real prospect, clearly got talent, but has a lot of room to grow as a player. That's a United signing. It really is. And I'm not saying it's going to be mustard. He might fail but it's the sort of signing I would have expected from Solskjaer. But as a side note, a question here, if we are in the market for Daniel James, then what's going on with the director of football who's supposed to be coming into United to take control of the transfers and the players we are going after? Indicates one of two things, either one, Solskjaer and now Mike Phelan, who has been confirmed as the assistant manager, which was expected and a good decision, either they're in control of the transfers or United have already got their director of football behind the scenes but haven't announced anything and he's already been working. One of two things. 
But either way, it seems like United are making early moves in the market, and that is something that Solskjaer said he would do. But who is Daniel James? Daniel James is a 21-year-old Welsh winger who was given his full Welsh debut by Ryan Giggs in November 2018, and he scored on his debut, a fantastic goal. Now, crucially, he can play on the left and the right wing. With both feet, he's comfortable on his left and right foot. And that's a bit rare for a winger these days. They're always, especially when you look at United's wingers, who are so heavily one-footed that they've always got to cut inside. But James is capable of going the inside and the outside of players. And the, the reason he's definitely capable is his pace. He has got pace to burn. Check out our Twitter feed, at United People's TV, to see a few videos. But my, 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 he has got pace to burn. And if there's one person you can learn from, I suppose, as far as Daniel James is concerned, it's Ryan Giggs being Welsh manager. He was the king of that. So, no better person to learn from. And he got Gareth Bale there as well, so he's got good idols above him that he can look towards. But natural winger with real pace can play on the left and the right and with the left and right foot. That's exciting. But how good is he? To offer a bit of insight into that, we've got a video here from Fraser Watson, who's a sports reporter that works for the Western Telegraph and the Milford Mercury Sport. And he's going to offer us a little bit of insight into exactly what type of player Daniel James is, his strengths and weaknesses, and why United fans maybe should get excited about him. What Manchester United will get if they sign Daniel James is a young player of enormous potential. I think he's exciting, he's a crowd pleaser, he can change games, he gets people on their feet and all the rest of it. And he's got an almost unique ability to sprint at a very high level continuously for a 90-minute period. The two FA Cup games against Brentford and Man City is what really put him in the shop window. There was the goal against Brentford, which went viral, and his performance against City, where he really stretched their back four all day long, was what caught the attention of the Premier League clubs. A move to United will be a risk for him, though, because he's by no means the finished article. You know, he can be frenetic. He plays at 100 miles an hour. His game management, his composure still needs improving. He does sometimes miss the runs of others. He can frustrate you, but he is a tremendous prospect, as I said. And if United can harbour his talent and give him the game time he needs, and that's where it's going to be important because he's got learning to do and he'll need game time, then they could have a great signing on their hands. I mean, Daniel James, for me is the sort of signings I want to see Ole Gunnar Solskjaer make. Yes, it may not work out if, if we do sign him, but at 15 million, it would certainly be a risk worth taking. And at 21, he's a young, homegrown potential player who could grow into a world-class player. They're the sorts of signings I want to see United making because United are so much better at nurturing talent and growing them into world-class players than buying world-class players and just using them as is. In our history, that's what we've been better at. So this sort of signing would very much excite me. And as I said, the idea that Ed Woodward would have absolutely nothing to do with it is a major step in the right direction as far as I'm concerned. But what do you make of the Daniel James to Man United transfer stories? Is it a sort of signing that you could get excited by? Let me know in the comments below. Hopefully this video has helped you understand where the stories have come from a little bit more, offered you a bit of insight into exactly what sort of player Daniel James is, and maybe why well, he could turn out to be a fantastic signing for United if a deal does go through. But let me know what you think about the rumours in the comments below, as always. If you are new to United People's TV, make sure you hit that subscribe button, people. Get involved. Until next time, though, take it easy.